Hello everyone, this is a video for some very advanced features. Um, if you're a programmer or maybe you just really really want something very bad and you're, you're just determined to do that, then you can watch this video. It's a little bit technical and might be hard to understand. So if you do not uh, need anything out of this video, then just don't watch it. Uh, I will explain how to edit uh, the configuration files manually to add or remove certain video players or add your own video players if you can if you know how to do it so let's start with that here you have the config.ini file which stands for um, what does it stand for I'm not sure let's me tone down size so uh, this is an ini, ini file it stands what does it stand for Hmm, I really can't remember. Oh well. Um, you can see uh, how everything is saved in here. If you want, you can edit it manually. Um, yes, but that's not really what we're here for. Here is the musicplayers.json file. Let's open it in the same program. And as you can see, here are a lot of music players. Um, if you want to permanently disable a file, you can do that by just removing one completely. Just boom, and Deezer is gone and it will not ever again show up on SMG until you update or remove this file completely. Um, now, if you know um, that a program outputs its song via uh, the title uh, like this if you hover over Spotify you can see this here Spotify primordial journeys and that's the title of a program if that program really uh, is always consistent in it and you just know that it does that you can actually make your own um, or add your own music player so let's remove Spotify and try to add it for ourselves so we start with the, the name in all caps, it's important that it's in all caps, so please do use all caps as a double colon, then these braces and a comma. Now the first um, thing you have to <coughs> sorry, first thing you have to specify, property you have to specify is the name, so just uh, double strings with name, colon uh, Spotify, it's called Spotify. This is what shows up in SMG in this. Um, oh, sorry, it's not opened up. What shows up in this drop down? So, well, it's already here, obviously, because I haven't saved or edited it at all. So, yes, that's what happens. The next one is the app type. The app type can be either a music player or a web music player uh, yes it can be either a music player or a web music player uh, if it's a music player that means it's a desktop application like this one uh, like Spotify or iTunes or Windows Media Player or FooBar or AI MP3 or Media Monkey or whatever you use um, if it's a web music player that means it's something on your browser, let's say uh, something like YouTube or Groove Shark or Pandora FM or Plug.dj or well anything else. So this one is a music player because it's an application on your desktop. And um, add a comma and let's do the next property. So this one is very important. It's the identifiers one. It's an array of strings. Uh, strings are these these text thingies with quotes around them with uh, identify or well look for uh, currents uh, no they look for pieces of text inside these titles so if you put look at closely at this title you could <coughs> excuse me you can see that it starts with um, a capital S and then Spotify well Spotify actually and a space then a uh, dash and then another space so what we will do is add that here 
this identifier thing will be filtered from uh, the title, so it will be removed, so your song will not show up as uh, Spotify, Blind Guardian, the script for my Requiem, but it will show up as Blind Guardian, the script for my Requiem. Uh, if you want more of these, uh, for example, VLC, I believe, use some more, then you can do that. You need at least one. All right, the next one is window class name. Window class name is a little complicated, but um, you can find it. Well, let's say you have a music player which does not identify itself with its own name or something static like Spotify. What you can do, if it still outputs its text, uh, its music via the, the title, you can find it with a window class name. So let's open a helper program. Uh, I believe it was called Spy something. Auto IT 3 Window Spy. You can download it somewhere on the internet. And now what you can do is click on a window and it will show all kinds of data. But all you need is this one. AHK underscore class PX window class. So let's see what it has for Spotify, click Spotify. As you can see, its class is Spotify main window. You want to copy that, copy and paste that in there. That's all you need. It's nothing more, nothing less than that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, and now replace title is just a uh, an option which you can turn on or off. If you turn it off, uh, this text, the identifier will actually not be replaced. So it will show up as Spotify dash uh, song name dash artist dash album or whatever. If you leave it blank, it will default to true. So it will automatically remove your title. Um, there are some more uh, options like this one, the remove characters. If you want to remove specific characters, you can add that as well. Uh, you start with an array, uh, let's say you do not want dashes, you can just add a dash if you want more things. You can, uh, like, uh, you do not want Spotify, you can do that. And I believe if you turn off, uh, if you turn off the option replace title, I think this one gets turned off as well, so it's useless. But I'm not sure, so do not rely on that one. And I believe that is every single um, yeah, if every single property. There might be more. If I find some more, then I will tell you. And yeah, that's it for this uh, introduction. And as you can see, I actually added OSU, but it's not. Uh, I haven't updated it yet for OSU, which is which I will do uh, pretty soon. Hmm. Yep, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and if you have any feedback or questions or anything just reply to this video or the OBS thread um, or send me an email. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.